You've been there, right? When a fellow teammate makes fun of your in-match points during or after the game. But points are not everything in Rocket League. Because they don't necessarily say how good or bad someone played. At least not reliable. Let me show you. Did I push my mate into an epic save here? Not if you take a look at the points. Hello Rocketeers. We have ranks and MMR to show us how good Rocket League players actually are compared to each other. So usually players of equal quality get matched together in competitive games. But of course everyone has bad days, varying shares of luck or other reasons for not performing on the best level in one single match. To outline the performance of each player, Psyonix provides the scoreboard where you gain points for specific in-game actions. For example, each ball touch gives you 2 points, each center or shot 10, a clear 20, an assist or save 50 and a goal 100 points. In addition to these standard actions, you are able to get some bonus points along the way. For example for scoring 3 goals or specific actions such as bicycle goals. At the end of the game, you can see how well or bad you and the others did. But these numbers are not definitely. For example, demos like this one are crucial to the game but don't end up on the scoreboard. Why? An automated point system does have flaws, that's totally normal. Its aim is to empirically manifest a highly dynamic and abstract sport situation into gradual numbers that you can grasp to quickly evaluate and compare players. That this isn't an easy task can be seen with real football. Nowadays besides scores or assists, we have factors like key passes, expected goals or verticality of play. But people are still arguing heavily about their subjective perspectives regarding the performance of single players. It's the same with Rocket League, only you're more involved and therefore more strongly lean on subjectivity. Let me explain with some examples. Goals. Whether you score a poop goal or a really nice one doesn't matter, they are all worth the same. 100 points. Well. Actually it doesn't even matter if you score them yourself, as long as you've been the last of your team to touch the ball before it goes over the line. Even if your shot wasn't on target and there's multiple touches by your opponents and 8 seconds until the impact. Our MSUC here gets the goal even though our team does uh, this. Last touch counts, also in your team. I don't have a problem with goal steals as long as people don't accidentally save a shot that would have been in. A goal is a goal, it's more important to me that we win than my point score. But this way another player steals 50 points off of me and gains 100 points themselves. So instead me being 100 points better on the scoreboard, the other player is 50 up now. Nearly as important as scoring goals is setting them up, but sometimes Rocket League shows itself really patient with counting assists. For example here, I make a weak shot attempt that gets easily saved and shot in the opposite direction. My mate shoots it in and I get the assist points. Or take a look at this guy who touches the ball here, then he bumps me twice and 10 seconds later the ball goes in. Even though my other mate touched the ball several times in dribbling as well as the opponents, Bumpy gets the assist assigned to. My two cents on this, if an opponent touches the ball significantly in between changing direction drastically or there's a lot of time between the pass and the shot, there shouldn't be giving away any points. Like here, where I just do a 50-50 resulting in the ball rolling towards the wall, ending up as an accidental pass, no points for me, all fair, all good. Also, kickoffs shouldn't count as assists. My mate even passes the ball to himself before it goes in and I still get the points. But a cool thing I discovered while making this video, using items in Rumble is counted as an action. So this highly effective frost fake did grant me 50 assist points. Nice! Let's talk saves. There are easy saves and harder ones to perform. You get 50 for each of them, except the ball was very close on going in, then you get 75. But the shot must come from an opponent. Saved own goal attempts don't get you any points, even if your mate was the one shooting the ball. Also, the shot must be on target. If the ball would end up clearly next to the goal, your block won't be counted as a save. 
even though it probably saved you from a dangerous situation. Here I only get two points for touching the ball, because it wouldn't have gone in by itself. But in this seemingly harmless situation I got 50, because it technically would have gone in eventually. And sometimes a save gives you points, but doesn't really change the outcome at all. Clears. The saves of the little man. The point system appreciates you kicking the ball out of the danger zone by giving you 20 points. If the ball happens to make a zone transfer. The arenas are separated into zones, usually indicated by markers on the field. If you're in the box and get to clear an approaching ball, you get 20 points. When it crosses a certain line, flying or rolling into midfield. You can see it clearly in this example. So sometimes it's just a question of some pixels, whether you get additional points or not. Sadly, no points, or only two, are given to you when you're acting in midfield. I call it the dead point zone. There, saves are not counted as such, and even match critical blocks or counter-attack enabling ball conquests can't be noticed by the point system. It only sees you as part of the midfield skirmish that's not really important to the game, which is totally wrong of course. Also you don't get points for essential bumps or demos that oftentimes open the way for goals. Okay, there's the extermination achievement that gets you 20 points for doing 7 demos in a game, but when Woody or Sledge end a game on under 100 points, you can be sure that they've nevertheless contributed significantly to it. Also Psyonix doesn't give you points for subscribing to my channel. A big flaw, I know. It should be fixed immediately, but I'd be very thankful if you do it anyway. You'll even get some of my extremely limited Z hard points for it. Yes! Sadly, the point system also isn't able to give out minus points. Be it for own goals, whiffs, whiffs, or open net misses. Players can score 3 goals in a match and have hundreds of points for it, but when they also make crucial mistakes that lead to 3 goals against your team, the points are not worth anything. And you look like you've played worse, even though you two are responsible for plus minus zero goals difference in the end. I don't want to call up Psyonix with this video. The way I see it, only a few minor adjustments can be done to optimize the mechanics of the point system. My plea goes out to all the players. Please keep in mind that points are just an indicator. Someone with a thousand points in a single game obviously has a higher chance of having done a better job than his mate with just 200 points. But 240 vs 260 doesn't make that of a difference. There are games where you work your ass off and don't get points, because your actions mainly take part in midfield, the saves don't get counted or other people steal your goals. And in the following game you get more points within the first 30 seconds than in the 5 minutes before due to luck. Just don't take those numbers that seriously. They give you a rough feeling for the output and rank certain aspects, but to evaluate the overall performance of a player, you have to take a deeper look and show understanding for the game as a whole. Thanks for watching, especially you who I told to go watch my video on this matter after you called out my points in that game we lost unlucky. You know who you are. Bye.